Hi there, and welcome to Wassel Woodworking. On the last episode of the Birdhouse series, we actually created a birdhouse out of cypress and loaded the camera up into it. And in this episode, we're going to be taking the uh, birdhouse, hanging it up in the tree, and then uh, running the conduit out to it, which was a difficult task, but uh, getting it all out there, running conduit through the yard, and plugging it into my switch so that I can then monitor the birds. Um, I actually bought the camera from AliExpress. It's a very small uh, 280 um, PoE camera that's powered over Ethernet. So all you have to do is run the Ethernet cable to it and it'll work just fine. Uh, it works well. The software that came with it is very awkward and not um, much fun to use. So I've been using Blue Iris software. And the Blue Iris software works great. You can set up uh, alerts, either email or text and uh, send a picture to yourself so you can see what's going on um, with the birds out in the backyard. So join me in seeing how this is done. So the camera was bought off AliExpress. So this comes from China, it takes about three weeks, and this camera was a 1080p camera, and it had uh, infrared LEDs for night vision, and of course it is PoE like I mentioned earlier, so all you have to do is run the ethernet cable to it to make it work. So we're here in the backyard, sorry for the camera bouncing, but I'm not used to shooting by hand. And uh, what I've done is I'm coming come out of the wall right near the drip. Um, I've dug a trench, it's about a foot deep, down along the ground, um, right on the side of the patio. And I've been meaning to disconnect this drain because I want the water off the roof to run into the yard. So I shoved the pipe, the conduit, through the four inch corrugated conduit, uh, four inch corrugated downspout by putting a tennis ball in and taping it into place. See the tennis ball right there, and that allowed it to get through without getting caught, and it actually ran all the way up here. I'm pushing about 60 feet of pipe. In the distance out there, you can see where the pipe comes out. So I'll walk over here. The odd thing is, whoever put this in, there was a low point in here. So when I cut it open, it was filled with water because the pipe actually comes out higher than the middle of it. But anyway, at this point here, I'm gonna put a 90 degree turn on L, and then I've already dug a trench about a foot deep over to the base of the tree. And then at this point, it's gonna run up the back and it'll be on the front side of the tree. But for now, I'm trying to get all this conduit put in the ground. Okay, so now I have the pipe up and I'm going to be running it through a condolet right here through the wall. And uh, something of note, when I lay the pipe in, after I put about six inches of soil, I take this uh, pink ribbon and put it on top of it. So hopefully if I'm ever digging in this area and I come across the pink ribbon, I'll know that there's a conduit underneath. So at this point, I've run the uh, hot pink uh, line all the way through it and out to the other end. I put a little piece of rag on and used compressor to shoot it through and then went through all 60, 70 feet very, very quickly, which is great. So now I'm gonna be ready to pull back the Cat5 cable. All right, as you can tell, I've gotten the work uh, done. Zoom in, I put an electrical box and brought the plastic conduit up into it and then the metallic flexible conduit runs up the back of the tree. So you can see right here up to a point to where it uh, turns and goes around the tree. Here's where it goes around the tree and goes up into the birdhouse in the gap between the sidewall and the roof. So the flexible conduit itself was made uh, brown by painting it brown, black, and gray to help it blend into the tree. As you can see, it does a pretty good job. All of the ground has been backfilled and everything's back to normal. Can't even tell it was here. The conduit, remember, ran right along the ground here and runs right up in the side of the house through that condolet. Inside the house, the Cat5 cable comes in, I still have to tie it off to the wall, and goes up onto the ceiling 
where it runs with another bundle of wires along the ceiling. Eventually it comes into the PoE injector that's right here on the wall and comes into this side. This is the cable and then the other side goes out and goes into my switch. Here's the switch right here running right on in there. At some point I'll run the cable through the wall. So here's a great scene where a bird is building up confidence and jumps in and of course has triggered the camera to record it. Um, this software is the evaluation version. It's only good for like 10 days or so and I'm planning on buying it when this expires. It works really well. You can find more out about this software at blueirissoftware.com. Well, that concludes today's episode of Wassa Woodworking. I've hoped you've enjoyed watching this episode and seeing how I hooked up the birdhouse and camera. It's uh, going to be fun to see, and I'll try to include a clip or two in my future episodes as uh, the birdhouse gets a little bit more uh, use. So anyway, if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up, put your comments below. Subscribe today if you like this video, if you want to see more of them. Click the little bell next to subscribe to be notified when you subscribe and uh, when a new episode comes out. And I will see you next time on Wassel Woodworking.